We tried many different things. Giving a presentation while holding your baby, not unusual at this lab. It's not looked down upon to bring your kids into the lab if you, know, you need to. Six out of eight, or 75% of researchers at SFU's artificial intelligence lab are women. Even though nationally, women make up less than a quarter of the people working in STEM careers. It's cool to have so much um, collaboration uh, with people who have an understanding of what it's like to be uh, someone who is marginalized in that field. The researchers say their projects are influenced by their experiences as women. Would you be open to discussing a structured path for salary increase? Charlotte Ho is developing an AI model to help women negotiate raises. A lot of us are thinking AI is such a threat, and, but that is completely wrong, right? Because AI is an assistant for us to enhance our skills. Other researchers are using AI for animation production and portrait design. Why don't you tell me how you're feeling today? I'm feeling joyful. Well, that's nice to hear. Here's a painting of you feeling joyful. Beyond the research, the women say the lab gives them much needed flexibility. I've taken a number of years off to take care of my daughter, and I've come back to school, and um, they're very supportive of um, like my personal needs. The lab is headed by a man. He says he tries to bring more women into the lab, but knows he has to walk a fine line. How do you do it in a way that's not overpowering that? The, so I'm always thinking about those, those issues. Although in general, I just, um, I just like to work with smart people. This University of Alberta assistant professor who researches diversity in STEM says labs across the country should take note of SFU's lab. When an environment is created where women can succeed, all kinds of women, with all different life experiences and all different needs can succeed, that's really incredible. She says that will help create the next generation of remarkable researchers. Yasmin Ghaneya, CBC News, Surrey.